everybody. Pro tip, questions that have been coming through, folks loving the embedded whiteboard on the home screen. Let's go ahead and pop in there real quick. However, the question is, I'm scanning in to sign in to either my Google Drive or my OneDrive, and I've noticed that when I scan in here, it will log me out after a period of time. Absolutely, yes, security feature, but slam that front door shut, you got options, I know, shocker. So if you're somebody that may be logged into your panel all day long, because you have options to log in, and we'll talk about those, you may not need to scan in here because you're already logged in somewhere else. This is really great for flexibility. If you're somebody that wants to just log in quick, grab something, send something back and forth to your drive, maybe that you are a faculty member that's hopping room, so it makes it very easy because you're not gonna be logged into just one panel all day long, or you're somebody like me that forgets to log out of things. This is a lifesaver, it's quick, it's easy, and it's oh so simple. But of course, you have options. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about two other ways to get logged into your panel and then pull that content into your whiteboard. So under apps, I did go into the New Line App Store. Uh, so you can find that under apps. And what I did is I actually downloaded the Drive app to my Q series panel. So I'm actually logged in to my drive app here. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, there we are, that's my drive. But wait, there's more. Uh, I can also go in under that file viewer. So I could go into my file viewer or my file commander system. You can see we have it uh, labeled both ways. And under add cloud here, I could go ahead if I wanted to sign into my OneDrive, or again, another option to sign into my Google Drive. You can see down here, I have a little Gmail. So I am signed into my Google Drive actually in both places, uh, just so that way I can show you both options. So back to my whiteboard, I can still choose to sign in here. Very quick, very simple, not a problem, I love it. Or I have the option if I'm trying to pull content because this is the question I'm getting is, hey, I have worksheets, but I don't wanna scan in every period. I just wanna stay logged into stuff so I can grab what I need to keep my day going. Excellent, you do you. We got you covered. Down on the bottom left, of course, you will see three dots or three lines. Um, in this case, it is our three dot menu, uh, which means you have additional options. So we're gonna pop in here and under add, you're wanting to add content from your drive that drive that you're signed into permanently on the board or consistently, we'll say. I could go ahead, I could grab any image from my drive or I could grab a document PDF. So a worksheet, something of that sort. Automatically, it brings me into recent files. So things that I've grabbed and worked with on my panel. But now, because I downloaded the Drive app and I'm signed in there, I could either pull content through my drive directly through the Drive app or I could pull my content through my drive in my file commander system. So we'll go to the Drive app first. There we are. Uh, I can go ahead, pop into my drive. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me, since I grabbed PDF uh, as the file type I'm wanting to grab, I can go ahead and just tap the PDF file I want to bring in. Of course, this is a two-page PDF file, so when I look, there we go, side by side, not a problem there. So that is one way to bring in content. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a fresh page because we're gonna go back down into that three dot menu. And now we're gonna pull from the file commander. So you can see that process as well. Because again, I'm signed in both places. So I'm gonna go back into PDF because I wanna grab a worksheet. And instead of my drive, three lines with three dots, got options. I'm gonna go into that file commander system. And in the file commander, there's my drive, I've signed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a little click. I'm gonna go into my drive and I can scroll down all of my PDF files that I could import into the whiteboard are going to show up. So let me grab something different. Uh, so we'll grab our little fact and opinion worksheet, which is very handy. And of course, no matter where you grab these files from, whether it's from the Drive app 
the file commander, or you've logged in through the QR code and pulled from your drive that way, it's always bringing in a copy of that document. So you're never messing up your original. Very nice. <laughs> so if you're teaching something multiple periods in the day, you know, even though it's the same worksheet or content, it could go very different directions. So you're going to have different experiences. But I do have all of those items now that have been pulled into my drive. And the great thing is, since I'm signed into the drive app or the file commander, I will stay signed in all day long, which makes it very easy to pull content from those sources without having to re-log in. But again, very handy here with the QR code uh, because it will automatically log you out after a period of an activity if the panel goes to sleep. So it gives you that flexibility to have that automatic log out for security and safety uh, should you not want to stay logged in. It's all about options. We got you covered. So stay tuned for more videos. Keep the questions coming and we will keep creating content for you. Take care.